Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at a new photo and examining all angles of it. So let's get into it. All right gang, now let's finally talk about the newly surfaced photo of the dining room taken in 1963. This was recently shared by Fred Hubry Sr. who was invited into Graceland during the time that Elvis lived there and kindly shares these incredible photos with us. My mind was literally blown when I saw this. I love seeing Graceland as Elvis had it, especially in candidates like this, and I'm sure you do too. It looks very different than what we see on the tour today. Elvis had only lived here for six years at this point, so this is a great peek into the early days of Graceland. Okay, there's a lot to take in and notice in this one black and white shot, so let's dig in. The table is set, there's butter, salt and pepper shakers, and see that bowl on the table? This new photo looks a lot like this one. The table settings and that bowl of food is in the same exact spot, so maybe this was taken on the same day. Priscilla is 18 here, halfway in the dining room, looking at the photographer. I love that in just this one photo, there's so much to take in. First thing we might notice is the dining set. It's very simple and quite different from the dining set that they got later in the 60s with the gold and velvet chairs, which is the one that we see on the tour today. So how about we go left to right and see what we can see. On the left side of the picture, there are buffet tables or sideboards that we definitely don't see on the tour today. These were gone by the late 60s when they were replaced by a large hutch. Another glaring difference is the swinging door that goes into the kitchen. During the entire time that Grayson was a home, from 1939 until the last resident, Aunt Delta, passed away in 1993, there was a door to the kitchen. It was only just removed in 1995 when the kitchen became part of the tour. The original owners, the Moors, had a door, but not the same one as Elvis. From this family photo of the Moors taken around the late 1940s, they had a swinging door to the kitchen, but one that had no glass windows. We have to talk about this chandelier. It's very funky and unique. It's almost like a mobile with gold leaves kind of sprouting from it. When Elvis first moved in in 1957, the chandelier in the dining room was actually an antique bought in New Orleans. The lady of the house, Ruth Moore, enjoyed antiques, and then Elvis replaced it with this super modern one. This gold mobile type chandelier was still there in the late 1960s. You've probably seen the home movies of Lisa Marie and her parents at Christmas with Vernon dressed up as Santa Claus. The four of them are right in front of that swinging kitchen door. They're trying to make Lisa Marie smile and at one point they hold her up. That's when we can see a little piece of the mobile chandelier. It's much easier to see in the actual video. There is a gold leaf visible at the top right corner and its shadow that it casts. Next up is the art that we can see in this room. Look just below the chandelier at the long piece of art inside the dining room. It's a nature scene inside a thick, dark frame. Here's a better look at them. In the 1960s, there were two matching pieces hanging on either side of the archway that depict bamboo with small birds and cherry blossoms. These two paintings were given to Elvis's double first cousin, Patsy Presley, during the 1974 remodel. Another huge change to the room are the sliding glass doors. I imagine that the dining area got pretty noisy and maybe this door was added to keep the sound down. There was even a glass transom and a pretty curly cue at the top and thin white curtains for even more privacy. These glass doors didn't last into the 1974 remodel but were there for quite some time. Now let's take a closer look at the foyer. Look through the sliding glass door. See that dark square on the floor in the foyer behind the chair that's set to the side? Want a closer look at what this is? This is another photo taken by Fred Hubry Sr. who has shared so many wonderful photos from his collection. This is a custom rug Elvis had by the front door of his home and it is so cool. Of course, it says EP at the top with a guitar and music notes. I wonder if this rug still exists somewhere. Okay, back to the dining room photo. Let's again look into the shadows in the foyer, this time to the left, through the glass door and on the wall. It's really hard to see from this shot, but there is a mural on that wall. These murals were wallpaper that were very popular at the time. 
let's take a better look at what it is. So in January of 1958, Elvis did a photo shoot in the foyer of Graceland with eight-year-old Mary Kozlowski, who was a polio survivor. In this shot, they are just inside the front door in the foyer with the living room on the right. In these photos, we get the best look at the mural that's behind them. This photo was taken from the main staircase and it's a better look at the mural. It looks like an ancient Roman or Greek scene with statues, but this wasn't the only mural. For some reason, Elvis didn't love this scene and changed it to a new one by 1963. This time, something that reminded him of home. This scene is called Magnolia Hill and it was also mass produced. There's a long curving road up to a mansion on a hill with huge columns out front. No wonder Elvis liked it, it looks remarkably like Graceland. We have to look at another amazing photo from Fred Hubry, who I can't thank enough for sharing these with the fans. This photo also from 1963 on the left wall that today has wallpaper and a mirror and a table with elephant heads carved into the legs is that scene, Magnolia Hill. We can see the curving drive and the columned mansion at the top. In a Gates of Graceland episode, Angie says this mural is still under that wallpaper. Let's move out further into the living room in this photo and look at three more things. First up, those chairs. We can see a closer chair with legs, but I want to talk about the armchair in the back. These white armchairs are what today's chairs are replicating. In the 1960s, there were two moderately sized armchairs with many buttons on the back of the seat. Let's again look at this photo of Priscilla in the dining room. In the background, we can see that there are two matching white chairs in the living room, right in front of what would later become the stained glass peacocks. We can get a better view of them in this photo shoot that Elvis did in the living room and the music room for the commercial appeal in 1965. Still in front of the feature peacocks are the white armchair with all of the buttons in it. But in 1982, the house was changed back to its peak period, the 1950s and 60s. Those armchairs were likely long gone. So there are these two white chairs, very similar to what they had back then. The next item we need to look at is the clock above the fireplace. I'll put the photo large again so you can get a good look. This isn't the closest view, but it leads to a few questions. Above the fireplace is what looks like the star-shaped clock that we see today, but the size is a little off for me. Here is my photo of the receipt of Goldens of Memphis, who did nearly all of Graceland's interior design in 1957, and thankfully they gave them an itemized receipt that was thankfully kept. The third item down says, one clock and custom built frame over fireplace for $250. It doesn't say what type of clock though. So if we go back to the 1963 dining room photo, to me, it looks like this starburst clock is within a large frame. Next, let's look at Elvis, My Best Man by George Klein, where he's talking about Christmas on page 185. He says, one year I gave Elvis a giant starburst clock he could have bought the same clock dipped in gold if he wanted to, but he appreciated the gift so much he hung it over the fireplace mantle in the Graceland living room. It's still up there. He doesn't say what year this was. I've been racking my brain trying to think if I've ever seen a photo of the fireplace and what's above it during the time that Elvis lived there prior to 1974. There are plenty of great photos taken inside the living room between 1958 and their early 70s, but none of them show this one section. So GK identifies the clock we see today on the tour as a gift that he gave Elvis for Christmas. I just wonder if he gave him a really similar clock because they look nearly identical. Here is a side-by-side -side of the two clocks. I don't know if it's the same, it's just interesting. So we've reached the end and this next thing is last, but certainly not least. It's my favorite because it makes me laugh. Let's take another close look at the fireplace but underneath it specifically. On the floor in front of the fireplace are a row of light and dark squares. These are pillows filled with hair. So let's take a look at another one of those receipts. The fourth item down is itemized. Eight throw pillows around fireplace, white and blue corduroy, rubberized, hair filled, $7.50 each for a total of $60. If you were shopping for these hair-filled pillows today, it would run you nearly $600. And that is it. What did you think of the photo? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram 
for rare photos and fun facts that don't make it into the videos, I'll also be sharing some of the photos I used in this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more adventures.